dog hair all over me. I wasn't feeling very talkative when I filmed, so we're just gonna voice over this. I got the horse's beet pulp soaking and then moved on to taking care of Baxi. Baxter gets some pain medicine in a pill pocket with every meal, which is his favorite part of the day, so every time he hears me getting it ready, he shoves his way into the tack room and stares at me until I give him his medicine. After that, I tried giving him some attention, but once he realized I had no food left for him, he was done with me. Once the little animals had their food and no longer felt the need to swarm me, I started on the list of horses that I needed to ride for the day. First up is Thunder, who is a horse boarded here, and his owner was wanting me to flat him today. Thunder is, uh, well, quite a character, and while sometimes he's funny, he's mainly just a grump, but we love him anyways. Despite his cheeky moments on the ground, he always behaves really well under saddle. Knock on wood. On the days I don't do chores, I like to ride one horse while the beet pulp is soaking and then after I'm done with the horse, I'll start preparing breakfast for my little piggies. Once their food is ready for them, I pass it out as quick as possible so I can minimize the amount of time I subject everyone in the barn to listen to them scream for food like they don't already know that they're all gonna have their own food just like they do every other day. Today sucked because I failed at being quick since I dropped a food and then stood there for like 5 minutes staring at it before deciding to pick it up. everyone fed and gave them an adequate time to digest their food, which is now a piece of information that I have to include, I got on Bits. Bits had a little jump school a few days ago and normally I wouldn't jump twice in one week, but we were working on a grid and I wanted to build on it while it was still fresh in his brain. The screaming in the background is my neighbors and I wish I could say that it's not a common occurrence for them to scream like that, but it actually kind of is and if they're not screaming then they're shooting their guns, but they're only ever shooting their guns when I'm on a green horse and never when I'm on a horse that isn't phased by the gunshots. So anyways, pretty much all of that was really off topic and had nothing to do with my ride on Bits, so let's talk about that really quick. Bits is really green and just starting to work on gymnastics, but he's doing really good with it. I'd like to see him slow down and rock back on his hawks more, but for his first time doing a grid that complicated, I'm quite happy with him. Hi. I decided to sweep for Bailey because I was like being nice or whatever and also I was really excited for her to ride again and trying to help her get done a little faster. I killed some more time before getting on Marco to prep him for Bailey by giving him a much needed haircut. I went in my apartment to get a drink of water and Baxter thought the best place to wait for me was laying right next to an animal that's like 10 times his size. Maybe more, I don't know, I'm too lazy to do the math. Thankfully, Marco is a good boy and spared Baxter from knowing the pain of being squashed by a horse. Most of the time, I'll get on Marco before a more inexperienced rider lessons on him to give them an easier horse to ride. Marco is always more forward and willing to stay on the wall after I've been on him, and in the beginning stages of riding when the focus should be on position and balance, the easier horse they have to learn on, the better.
This was Bailey's first ride back since we closed because of Corona and she picked up right where we left off. Also, we were like accidentally twinning today with the whole navy breeches and black shirt thing. Kane, act like you love me. I think we'd both rather be taking a nap right now. He's so sleepy. So now I'm on Kane. Today is his first day back jumping in months and he was really great. He was jumping the best he ever has at home and now I'm really excited to hopefully get him back in the show ring soon. Monkey, it's a fan! It'll cool you off. Not gonna get ya. You can't stand on those cross ties in the summer because the fan is right there and the fan freaks him out. So he has to come in the wash dog. Are you hungry? Oh my gosh. wondering the office will not be getting turned into a house for Baxter. Next up is Pablo. Pablo is basically a mini Bacardi and they have similar issues. Like Bacardi was a while ago, I think Pablo is uncomfortable in his SI so he's doing some exercises to strengthen it to see if that makes a difference before resorting to injecting it. One of the exercises he does is backing down the hallway. The other exercise Pablo does involves a 10 minute warm up, so I've been lunging him for 10 minutes and then doing this little stretch exercise. I decided to leave the stretch he does out because you can end up doing more harm than good if you overdo it, and I didn't want someone to try it because I did it and end up hurting their horse. Pablo, you have issues.
Ash and kind of prep him a little bit for Riley before she got on him because we we're gonna jump him. But I don't think I'm getting on another horse because I'm really, really tired. I think we'll just set up like an easy, non scary looking line for Riley to jump on Flush outside and I'll let her do it on her own. What is your problem? Riley always gets really sad when I start talking about selling Pablo. But who in their right mind is going to want to buy this pony? He's a nightmare. The only thing he's got going for him is the fact that he's cute, but his cuteness... Uh, his cuteness isn't really enough when he acts like this. Just kind of is what he is. And we deal with it until somebody decides they want to deal with him. He's really cute and fun. He's just a psycho. So if you're willing to deal with a psycho, then he's your guy. Good Pablo. Bad Pablo. Bad Pablo. Good Pablo. Bad Pablo. Bad Pablo, bad Pablo, bad Pablo. Pablo, oh my gosh. You stinking pony. You are the worst animal that I have ever seen in my entire life. And that's saying something because I've seen a lot of animals in my life. And you are by far the worst. Yeah, I'm going to set you up a little cross rail line out there so you can do it on your own. Pablo, look at Flashy. That's how you're supposed to behave. What I really wish is that someone would feed the horses for me tonight because I just want to lay, like, literally just lay on the ground and just sleep forever. Not forever, but for like an hour and I'd be good. I ate lunch at like 10 a.m. because I was really hungry and I don't really like eating breakfast, so I ate lunch at 10 a.m. And it's like 4.30 right now, and I'm getting really, really, really hungry. It almost turned into a regular vlog there for a minute, but don't worry, my voiceover is back. I tried to take a nap while Riley was getting flash ready, although the bench was significantly less comfortable than I imagined, and Riley had a different plan anyways. You want to know what wakes you up? What? Close yeah. your eyes. Yeah. Close your eyes. Nuh uh, it's only fair. Help. It's only fair. See ya. Bye bye. Nice knowing you. Help me! I'm gonna go steal your pony. Okay. It's sad when Baxter's faster than you.
stupid tripod broke. I fixed it for now. After our water fight was over, I started turning horses out while Riley actually got her pony ready this time. Originally, we were planning on riding outside, but it started to rain, so we stayed inside and just worked over a single jump and kept it really low since Riley and Flash haven't jumped much since March. Flash just walked away from me. He's my pony. I can do what I want. No. <laughs> <laughs> Pablo, go away. Ah! Oh god, really? That was fun! <laughs> go! That's there! <laughs> Look at them, they're so mad. We're teasing them. Hang on, let's get them fed. Corn bridle I here. So don't do what you just did. So I have more bad news because that's pretty much what I always have, it seems like. Last week, Bacardi got kicked by another horse that he was out with and i'm not sure which horse kicked him but he likely tore something in his stifle area um not exactly sure what his stifle is like poking out when he walks and it's kind of freaky and definitely not how it should be we took a video and we sent it to my vet just to kind of get an idea of what we needed to be doing um and she she thinks that he probably tore something in that in his stifle he's probably gonna need like three to six months off which sucks it's likely a very minor tear um because he's still pretty sound on it and like he he acts okay um but obviously his bones moving around a little funky and he's not okay right now but anyways he's gonna go to their clinic 
on Monday, so in a few days, and they're gonna ultrasound it, and we'll get like a for sure diagnosis, I hope. I'm on the sky back there. The day after he got kicked, we had a local vet come out here and x-ray it just to make sure his bone was okay and his bone is fine so at least we have that going for us he's on stall rest right now being in a stall is not something that he's very good at so we have to take little breaks in the evening to let him come out and eat grass so he feels like he's outside but he's not able to like run around you know they've been pretty bummed about the whole situation but horses will be horses and unfortunately it had to be my main horse that got hurt this time but hopefully he'll have a full recovery and we'll be back to doing our thing soon enough but for now it's likely gonna be a lot of time before I'm able to ride him again so sucks I think it's time to go back inside it looks a little scary out come on cards I'm getting scared I think it's raining over there but I'm not really sure Ugh. scary but also like side note clouds are so cool i like looking at them i don't know if anyone else feels the same but i think clouds are really cool so today is tuesday yeah today's tuesday um sunday i ended up just taking the day off and sleeping for most of the day and then yesterday we took bacardi down to my vet's clinic so that he could get his ultrasound my vet couldn't find anything that was like torn which is really really good it's most likely just a bad muscle strain so he got prp done while we were there and then he ended up staying at their clinic bacardi is going to be staying at the clinic for at least the next week so that they can treat his injured stifle area with lasers and we're gonna ultrasound him after the first week and see how that muscle is looking and if they think he can come home then we'll go get him or if they want to do another week of lasers then we'll leave him there for another week so it's just gonna depend how his body heals up but you know of of everything that we could have heard yesterday i would say this is probably the best news poop on me and it's on my arm i ended up vlogging a little bit this day too so i'm just going to include some of my favorite parts from it since our trailer was still hooked up from the day before i decided to work on trailer loading with geronimo the day we picked him up it was really dangerous getting him in the trailer and i ended up getting slammed against the wall by him at one point which obviously isn't okay although trailering him was a nightmare it was the least important thing for him to work on when he got here but since he's got a solid foundation with the basics and a lot of trust in me now it's something that i'm starting to think about today i had no intention of actually loading him in the trailer i think he'd probably step on if i asked him to but i'd rather him be more comfortable just being near the trailer first so that neither of us gets hurt i just let him eat some grain from the back of the trailer and will likely do that a few more times before i ask him to step on I also took advantage of our water puddle today and saw how Geronimo felt about walking through water. He was a little unsure at first, but he quickly decided it wasn't so bad. My tripod broke again. Aqua also had a little jump school today and then Riley came out to the barn. What is he now? Okay, He's so mad. <laughs> what are you eating? Uh, this June bug, I think is what it's called. I don't know. But it's probably poisonous and ripping all its legs off right now. So. <gasps> <laughs> Chew it! <laughs> <laughs> 